Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Hey guys, all over one just here today. I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be installing React OS. Wait a minute, what? That's not Windows. <laughs> well, it is supposed to be like a Windows clone, but Linux based. So that's one of the reasons why I'm installing it. And this right here is a Windows computer. So, hey, it works. <laughs> uh, so basically, I've never used this operating system before. So this video is really going to be like, it's going to be a reaction video to me reacting to React OS. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get right into the video. This thing is literally a monitor, a computer, and uh, like touchscreen all built into one. It's pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, this, this uh, I don't know, AIO all-in-one, I'm not sure what to call this. Um, it comes with its own keyboard and mouse. Really nice. Oops, that's not the right mouse. This is the right mouse. There we go. Of course, it, they kind of have to like take from uh, Apple, but this is battery powered instead of rechargeable. Well, rechargeable is battery powered, but you get what I mean. All right. Anyways, let's let's get into the video. Um, so today I got my my uh, trusty Kingston USB stick here with Ventoy on it. Um, it only has the React OS ISO on it. Uh, I'm hoping that that ISO works. Um, but let's go ahead and plug it in here, and hopefully I can get it to boot straight to USB. All right. Cool. F12. <laughs> I thought I got a blue screen on the freaking BIOS thing. I was so confused for a second there. All right, so we got USB. Yes, this thing also does have a CD-ROM drive, which is great, or DVD-ROM. And the hard drive is a Toshiba hard drive, so it shouldn't be that bad, but... Oh, as you can see, um, I've been messing with some Linux on here. Um, it's just when you turn it on, it's a Windows bootloader, so it doesn't show Linux. But for some reason, the Linux bootloader shows Windows. Freaking Microsoft, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, start the USB storage. Let's hope I have the correct settings for it. Oh, what's cool about this thing is you can actually use it as a second monitor. There's a little HDMI port on the back of it, and it'll, it can just be used as a second monitor. It's got a source option and everything. All right, so we got Ventoy open. Let's go ahead and open React OS. Uh, boot in normal mode, I guess. <laughs> Press any key to boot. Error opening. Free LDR to INI or file not found. What the heck is Freeloader? And we are now in Windows 10. Our USB storage device. Whoa. Well, that was fast, whatever that was. That was like Windows. You can just see like a black pl uh, plus or cross going on from the lack of lighting it didn't crash but we're stuck on a black screen yeah there's no mouse no keyboard i bet this thing has usb uh a usb 3. all right so clearly this does not want to boot from the usb so i have uh burned the iso image on a blank cd-rom disc so it's not a cd-rom i don't know why i keep saying that i've burned it on a blank cdr disc uh, so as you can see, I got the I got the tray open. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in here and hope for the best. Hard to do it with one hand, All right? So let's go ahead and unplug this and just restart the computer. Of course, Control Alt Delete doesn't work, but oh wow! Huh. Yep, I pressed the power button and it instantly turned off. All right, one more time. Let's see. Hopefully, the CD helps. All right. Boot menu, boot options, let's go. All right, CD-ROM. Press any key to boot. All right, there we go. It did this last time too, but maybe it'll actually load. Wait, I'm sorry, React OS's minimum requirements is a Pentium 1? So is it going to have the drivers for this computer? I mean, I've got a bunch of computers I can try this on, but I thought, I'm so confused. It's based on Windows 2003. So this does not support new hardware? I didn't know that. I thought React OS could be like installed on newer stuff. I have a Windows XP machine, but I don't know if it's too new for it because it it's it came with Windows XP Media or it was 
It came with Windows XP Media Center Edition 2005 originally. Uh, so let me just turn this thing off. So, as you can see, I have the uh, Longhorn laptop connected now, which means React OS does not support new hardware, which I did not know. I had no clue about that. I thought it would work on new stuff, but it does not, not at all. So I'm going to try to do it on this laptop. It's got an Intel Centrino in it. I'm not exactly certain on the specs, but it, it's, a, it's a Toshiba laptop. And I'm pretty sure the hard drive on this is faster than the uh, other one, so. All right, so I, it should be F12. Yes, F12. CD. Come on, you know you can load. Well, let's see if this works. As you can tell, I didn't do enough research. Uh, research. Actually, I didn't do any research on it. I literally just grabbed it and thought, oh, hey, this should work. Boom, done. I wanted to do a modern hardware video, but clearly that's not going to work. Disk read failed in LBA mode. What the heck does this mean now? It's like as soon as um, the disk spins up, it'll load, but since it spins so fast, it's like, oh, you're pushing the eject button. What was that? Did you see that? I didn't even get a chance to read it. What is going on, bro? It's not even asking me to uh, press any key to do anything. I'm at a loss. I've got more computers I can try to use, but like they're out in my shed. I will be AFK so I can go grab that computer, that Windows 95 computer I've never shown on my channel before. It's very big, but I'll be right back. Oh god, what I'm gonna have to do is move this over to the side. Ignore the jumbled up mess in the background. Here we go. Ah. I've got a lump. Ah. Yeah, this uh, monitor does not fit this time zone whatsoever. Look at this. Here's my hand. You see that? This thing is massive. So, uh, yeah. Gonna have some fun with this one. I can hear that it's turned on, but is it actually going to turn on is the question. Got a Pentium 2 in it. Come on, baby. You can do it. You've been on before. Get all that power through your system. Hey, there it is. There you go. IBM. It turns on. I'm going to be honest, it has 32 megabytes of RAM. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what operating system I have on this thing. I don't have a keyboard yet. Yeah, of course, there's a bad battery, I know. I, of course, we'll be using an old keyboard, this one right here. It's a PS2 port keyboard. Yeah, this is very old. All right, uh, duh, 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 duh. Yep, okay, it's connected, numlock works. I really need to have some, I, I'm probably going to have to like set this down back down on the floor. Uh, let's just press continue. Uh, there, yeah, conf automatically. This was probably one of the last computers to ever come out with Windows 95. I mean, considering it has a Pentium too. Yeah, I know, date and time is incorrect. Ah, I see. I have the custom Chinese MS-DOS 7.1 on it. Let's see. Do I have Win? Oh, this is that messed up keyboard. What version of Windows 90, Windows do I, oh. I don't know what version of Windows I have on this thing. Okay. And there was a seek test, which I thought the uh, floppy disk drive was broken in this, but it might not be. I know the date and time's incorrect. I gotta skip past this. Press A, press, okay, well that's memory allocate. I don't have enough RAM. I thought 32 megabytes hat was enough RAM. Clearly 32 is not enough RAM. All right, let's get this one turned on. Yeah, see, Whistler. I just realized my, why is my screen backwards? Hang on, there you go. <laughs> Didn't realize I could even do that. Let's just see what happens. So far we got immediate, immediate 
movement, but is it gonna actually load is the real question. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? We have a setup wizard. Now I have to set up for the video. Yeah, profit, right. Oh lord, okay. So we finally got that done. Um, <laughs> let's see, is the keyboard USB? Yeah, it has uh, USB support too. Wow, it's moving funky. All right, cool. So as you can see, I've got so much crap going on in the background. Uh, you can't see that much, but I have the $5 Windows 98 laptop out. Clearly, it actually booted properly. It took me it took me uh, an hour and 10 minutes, basically, just to get freaking React OS done. So I've learned it doesn't support anything under 64 megabytes of RAM. It doesn't support anything over the uh, Intel Centrino. And uh, it doesn't support anything Intel Centrino or over, which sucks. But I guess it is what it is. Finally, without further ado, let's get into the freaking setup process. And what's cool about this is it actually has uh, USB support immediately. Of course, USB 2, but nonetheless, let's get into the freaking setup. Holy crap, I have a lot to clean up when I get done. All right, let's press enter. Okay, I know it has little like little things in the corners, but that's okay, we can just ignore it. But this part of the setup copies the React OS operating system to your computer and prepares the second part of the setup. So you can press enter to install, R to repair, L to view, and F3 to quit. Uh, view the licensing terms, sorry. So I guess I'm just gonna press enter. Um. It's an alpha stage. Somehow it's still an alpha. How old is this operating system? I thought it was old. Are you freaking kidding me right now? How can it not find an IDE hard disk? Because it supports both IDE and SATA. Uh, this is very upsetting. This also makes zero sense. So if anyone knows about this operating system, what gives? I have enough RAM, I have enough storage, it just doesn't doesn't even have the IDE drivers. I just don't get it. I ain't do I, I, the the whole point of this video is trying to get this on actual hardware. I don't I'm not trying to virtual uh use a VM on it. I'm just gonna have to I literally am going to have to call this a fail. I, I don't understand why, but it just does not work. I got 92% or 91% yes for uploading this video even though it failed. I know they have a live CD, but the live CD doesn't install React OS on it. It doesn't. It doesn't put React OS. I, I don't understand what's going on. Alrighty, so I got the live CD uh, put on this CD. So let's just use the live CD version then. All right, live CD. Oh god, I just booted into the debug. I was trying to move it, but. Now this looks like Windows XP. Clearly, it's the Windows XP era. Why the heck can it not install on a Windows 98 laptop? Hmm? Answer me that. Is it the hard drive? Is the hard drive too big? Well, they had hard drives this big on Windows XP. What? What? I don't understand. What gives? And I've tried to install this on a Windows XP laptop, and it, it just was gray screen like it is right now. Oh, it's blue. This. Oh, hey, would you look at that? So the live CD works. No USB support though, unfortunately. There's an install React OS option. Should I run it or install it? What do you think? I, I, I'm trying to get to the freaking volume, but as soon as I get to the taskbar, it pushes me away. Yeah, see at the bottom, it, it has it's, it's moving. Because last time I booted into the debug version, so maybe that could be an issue. Looks the same though. Wait, what the heck? It just disabled my USB, my USB drive. But the touchpad isn't broken, so I'm not complaining too much. I'm just going to press install. User in it failed to st start the installer. Okay. Well, at least it doesn't like just 
All right, so let's just <laughs> go to the live CD. What does it mean by the user in it failed to... Uh, yeah, React OS does suck. I mean, it says it's in alpha, but like, if they've been running since 1996, there shouldn't be this many problems. Honestly. The screen is a darker shade of blue, though, so the debug mode was definitely having issues. I mean, it looks better, at least. I used the big blue uh, download button that's on their website, and I'm using the live CD, and neither one of them install. I can't use the mouse still, but the freaking uh, touchpad isn't broken this time. I guess let's look through it a little bit. Of course, since it's on a CD, it's going to take forever to load everything. What kind of entertainment do they have? Not much. All right, none of this is interesting to me. Same with this. What kind of games? Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, and Wine Mine. Oh, there's more. I sort of just guessed. Hide inactive icons. I know it didn't find any audio drivers. Classic start menu is it. Nothing else you can do with that, probably because it's not installed. It's crazy how much it looks like Windows, though. Like the Windows 9X era, or Windows 2K era. That's weird, it, it, literally, ha it literally has some, like, 16 by 9 background images. Which really makes you wonder, can this, does this thing actually really support new stuff? That's a lot of, oh god. Well, it's locked up on me. I don't know what's going on with this, but I, I'm just, that's it. I'm done with it. I'm done messing with it. This is why I don't go away from Windows, because anything Unix or Linux based, if, especially if I'm like live streaming or recording it, does not work. It does not work very well at all. I've been able to get other Linux versions on that Dell computer that I was showing you guys earlier, but it's just, I don't know. I, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm, I'm tired. I'm just going to do the outro and get this stupid thing out of the freaking way. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, unfortunately, I, haven't, I was not able to install this. Um, I could probably install it, so now that I'm using the live CD, I could probably install it on another computer, but I've been through so much crap, I'm not even going to bother with it. it. It is what it is, I guess. It, it's completely locked up, so I can't do the whole shutdown thing for the intro. I mean, for the outro. I guess without further ado, I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.